<laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to Overdose. I'm your host Don J. Now today I'm joined with some special guests. Introduce yourself. Stephanie, Step okay. Easy on Instagram. Follow me. Okay. Amina. Alright. Now, how familiar are you with Red Pill now that you've done a video already? Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? I said, how familiar are you with Red Pill now that I you've done a video? I am familiar now. Now I'm slightly you familiar. You ready? You ready? Alright. So today's video we're doing is why you can't be just her friend. Initial thoughts. Amina? We've been fighting about this topic forever, but we don't see. There's two sides to it. Like, I get both arguments. It really just depends on your definition of what a friend means and yeah. how you view boundaries. Okay. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's go. All right, guys. I got a good video for y'all today, bro. We talking about why men and women cannot be just friends, bro. But you see a boy, Fred got a haircut, man, got a lineup. Now, before I get into the video, I got a PSA for y'all. Before I even get into this video, I need all my boys to listen up. I need all y'all to listen up, bro. Guys, make sure you are getting the lineup and looking fresh every single week, all right? I don't care if you could, bro, save money, invest in yourself to be able to get a lineup every single week. I cannot stress how this has changed my life tremendously, bro. I have said this on my stories, and I don't mean to ramble about this if I get into the video, but bro, getting the lineup and looking fresh every single week has, it just, it just gives me tremendous confidence, it makes me feel good, and it makes me stand out from other guys. Mm -hmm. So before I get into the video, I wanna let y'all know, you will change your so day awesome. life by just simple. Okay, so what are your thoughts about that? Like a guy saying that was super very duper wholesome. Like okay. good for him. If that's helping his confidence, I love that for him. <laughs> okay, so so for you personally, my heart. does that matter as much? Yeah, confidence is everything. No, not confidence. I'm oh. saying like a guy that's like Having always like lined lineup. up, yeah, always duh. Okay. I'm a I keep myself in tip top shape. Mm-hmm. For self care, yeah. And it's Nobody. just like taking care of yourself. I yeah, okay. that's okay. the thing same. matters. Yeah. Okay. Facts. Getting a fresh lineup every week. All right, now let's get into the video, right? Let's get into the video. I didn't mean to ramble. All right, bro. So today, bro, we're talking about why men and women can't just be friends. And I got a DM from one of my one of my subscribers, and he goes, hello, FedEx. I cheated on my ex, but she didn't know. She cheated on me and later dumped me. After a year, she has now come back, and she wants to be friends with me. Do you think we should be friends? I'm really not sure how to attend to this. So... Him and his ex broke up. He cheated on her. She cheated on him. Who knows? I promise you, bro. She probably cheated on you first. You just you just found out later, right? But she cheated on him. He cheated on her. Now he's wondering, can they just be friends? Guys, men and women. Okay, before we jump in his thing, what, what would your advice be for this guy? They can't be friends. So in this situation, they were exes. They cheated on each other. On a basic friendship level, mm -hmm. in a relationship, you already violated me as a friend like because we cheated on each other i violated you too that's double you know what i mm -hmm. mean so it's like when we say men and women can be friends like we're talking about before we hurt each other violated those boundaries like mm -hmm. we hold if you hold dated someone and cheated on each other years later maybe i mean there's a possibility but i don't know the whole story but okay i don't think so how about you um i think that Anyone could be friends with their ex, just friends. I don't, mm. I'm not sexually attracted to any of my exes. I don't want to fuck with none of them. So question, did you ever care then? I did care. Yeah, I did. Things change, times change. People change. That's People true. change. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, we cannot be friends. Men and women cannot just be friends. This is now, this is not how it is meant to be <laughs> when it comes to life, right? Men and women are supposed to mate and create offspring. This is what life is, right? We're not meant to just be friends, especially with no chick that you had a past with. It is not possible. Stop trying to be just friends with chicks. It doesn't work. There are three reasons why. Number one, bro, one person is gonna want somebody more than the other person, right? There's, there's no such thing as equality, guys, when it comes to relationships, right? I'm just gonna break it down. There's no such thing. All this 50-50 compromise crap, there's no such thing. You cannot, there's no such thing as 50-50. Somebody's gonna want somebody more than the other person. It is in your benefit, bro, that she wants you more than you want her. Because how women operate, if you want her more than she wants you, she's going to be searching for the best option. 
You can legitimately like a girl. You can care for a girl. What? Y'all see over there moving and grooving. I'm saying, like, that goes both ways. Like, what he's saying, he's saying mm. that, like, that's exclusive to men, but for mm -hmm. women, too. No, I'm, I'm thinking, not even I'm thinking, he wants, obviously, the people that's watching his videos or the guys to okay, be in yeah, a powerful position. Yeah, I know, but I just would have to, I want the females to be in that powerful position. I think the guys should definitely, like you more than you like them or you're easily manipulated mm, yes and no I, I because i definitely see where he's coming from because off rip we both just have, want the upper hand the females and the guys no 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 no. see i don't even think it's about upper hands per se i think it's a more about women have just a tremendously more options than it is for men so if a girl doesn't focus on you she might explore those other options versus a man is not going to have as many options as a woman have so obviously if she likes him more she's going to pursue him she's going to chase after him she's going to chase his validation etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm, i think mm. it's more about her liking you more than her other options yeah, not exactly. more than her liking more than not you her like having her. more mm. options and getting distracted exactly you know? if she because, like if you are quality then you shouldn't have right to because that's also very like specific to each man like you know a guy might have a bunch of girls on his line like you know and he might have a way more options like okay wait what for hold an on. example like you, hold on, hold on. you saying guys and girls have the same amount of options or Some guys even have more, more. Yeah, it like, depends on the guy think about okay. it like you if you're, you're thinking of ugly guys like guys no 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 i'm thinking, thinking of i'm thinking of average girls. to average i'm thinking of, of of ugly to ugly not even ugly to ugly uh, a low money to ugly, ugly to i'm ugly. thinking of average average i'm thinking of high high i'm not thinking of high i think y'all are thinking of the top 10 percent of guys compared to the minority of women if you was to put them equally together it's not even close i mean literally it's not well, even yeah close. equally but that's everyone every situation is different every, no situation is going to be equal mm -hmm. like he's saying <laughs> okay okay oops i missed <laughs> but you need her to like you more right you because she's more submissive that way she's more cooperative that way if she sees that you want her more She's not going to be cooperative. She's not going to be as submissive as you want. And she's going to be subconsciously putting herself out there for the next high value male, for the next best option. This is how women operate, right? Nobody's going to, it's never going to be equal. Somebody's always going to want somebody more. She's always going to want you more or you're going to want her more. So being friends doesn't work. You got, you got guys thinking that they could, they could sneak their way in, into the draws by being friends. It does not work. Never use that approach. Never use that approach, right? Trying to be friends with a girl to get her to eventually like you makes you look weak. Yeah. It makes you look weak. This guy that you had DM me, right? His chick wants to be just friends. If he accepts that, she's going to run him. You got to you gotta make it clear, bro. Like, That's hey, not his chick. Um, he said it again. That's not his chick. He said his chick wants to be just friends. No, meaning like they was chicks. They was obviously dating. He cheated on her. She cheated on him. Okay, well, that's, you lost your bitch, bro. She gone. <laughs> no, obviously she wants to come back and be just friends. So And know. be just friends, right. She don't want him no more. <laughs> Realistically, how many guys are you going to saying, I want to be just your friend? I'm friends with my exes. Like, we're friends. Like, they call me sometimes and they tell me about their lives. You know? Who's initiating that contact majority of the time? It doesn't, like either like if i see something that like reminded me of them i might call them and be like oh mm -hmm. look at this this is funny mm -hmm. okay okay we had a pass you cheated on me whatever 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 went down you cheated on her whatever you guys got to discuss that and get over that you can't just be friends with her right what's going to end up happening is you want y'all going to end up spending more and more time together and things are going to happen and then you're going to be right back to square one She's going to be cheating on you again because she sees that you have no respect for yourself, right? I guarantee you, bro, she cheated on you first. I promise you she cheated on you first. And if you accept her back as just friends and you start dating her again, she's not going to respect you. Okay, he's contradicting himself because if you start dating her again, then you're not just friends. When you decide to be just friends with somebody, you establish that boundary and both people have to stick to no, it. No, see, that's, that's false because, again, life is nothing is set in stone. Like, nothing is set in stone. So you could establish a boundary at the beginning of something, but then later on, you might be like, hey, I actually want to cross the boundary myself. Or, hey, things change and I see this person in a different light. But at that point, it's a totally different situation. Y'all yeah, aren't you're not just friends no more. Like, that's then it changes. You can be <laughs> that's just friends my over all if there's a point. mutual interest it's different uh-huh you know if she decides oh 
I like him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which rarely happens, but if she decides yeah, you're not that in for, the yeah, future, for one hundred percent, yeah, yeah, okay. Then things evolve. They're not friends like, no you more. can be friends, and but if it's just him else. being thirsty for her, then yes, that's still her friend only. That's not a nigga that she talks to or someone she likes or like someone she deals with. Mm-hmm. He has a crush on her. Like she can't help that. Okay, I think up again with my pushback is just friends is not placing on your relationship overall of the potential relationship like you may want just to be friends but the other guy doesn't want to be just friends so okay, it makes so a relationship not Rape just me? friends like, wait you what know? i'm saying like you went to the, woo. no i'm saying like it, that is all it's gonna be because yeah. what is he gonna do force himself upon me like yeah if it's just friends and that boundary then now we're not friends at all like yeah even if know? he finds you attractive He's choosing to continue with the friendship. He's choosing, okay, I'm going to put this aside and go on with this boundary and be just friends because she doesn't want me. So I'm going to accept that. So you're agreeing to be just friends. Right. Even okay. if you have a secret. And if you don't whatever. agree with that, like. Then don't be. We're not. Don't friends. be friends. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. what are you going to do about it? Like, <laughs> right? Guys, don't do it. <laughs> the second reason why men and women cannot just be friends, bro, is because it's too toxic. Right? It's too much drama. Right? It's. It, it's it is it is never gonna chime well, right? When somebody when when you you guys are pretending, what this dude wants to do is he wants to pretend that he can just be friends with his ex girlfriend. He knows it's not gonna happen. She knows it's not gonna happen. So you guys are just lying to each other for the whole time, and then you wonder why it's not gonna work out, right? It's too toxic. You want to be in a relationship with a girl where everything is clear. You want to be in a relationship with a girl where everything is 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 black and white. Hey, baby. Either we're going to be platonic or we're going to be romantic. You guys understand that? Platonic or romantic. It's nothing in between, right? I can't, you can't go back and try to be platonic with a girl you've been romantic with. It doesn't work. You guys have already, you guys have already shared feelings. That's why I'm, I'm encouraging you guys to let relationships go. I don't understand why y'all don't, y'all just can't, you guys cannot seem to let women go, right? It is, it, it, it's something deep down that I feel like my guys are having trouble with. You can't, you have, you have, you have, you have some, in, I feel like a lot of men have some deep insecurities mm. that, they, that, that they, they are not willing to share or talk about, right? What is the problem? Talk to me, bro. What are your thoughts? I mean. Men definitely have deep insecurities that they're not willing to share or talk about. And a lot of these red pill men are one of them. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, wait, what? You, oh, wait, what? I'm just thinking more generally, like. Okay. All these deep insecurities, you know, like. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's a reason for that. I feel like men, again, men don't have as many options for women. That's that's number one. Number losers. two, huh? <laughs> like losers, like yeah. I think they should speak for themselves because right. there are men with options. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. Again, you miss you missing misinterpreting what I'm saying. There is not as many options for men versus the equal counterpart for women. Those I get are, it. Yeah, I feel like losers need to just date losers, like, because that's basically what you're saying, like, No, know. okay, let's take an average woman, yeah. put her on Tinder. Let's take an average guy, put him on Tinder. I'm not Do you looking think at things from, like, an average point of view, like. Okay, even, even saying, the like, top, even the top percent of whoever. I can whoever. only relate from my personal experience, uh -huh. like, I can only speak on that. And mm -hmm. I just think, like, the guys that I like, they have countless options, like. And they know that I have countless options. It's not even like, we don't even think about, you know, who has more options, like, so I can be insecure about it. You know, like, it's just, it screams insecurity, the whole thing. Whether you have 10 options or two options, right, you like, gotta worry about, about being number one. So yeah, why does it matter? It. Right, like. We're like definitely gonna come back to this a little later, because y'all not getting the 100% options overall. Because as a guy, if a guy is in your DM, that's a clear option because he don't want to no, I test you. I think that's he wants to actual because, fuck you. Um, yeah, so women are more selective, I guess. So that makes it for the opposite. The guys have less options. Mm. I get what you're saying. Women, We're women, so we've been conditioned to this our whole lives. Yeah, We're not going to reply to every selective. DM. Like. But guys will swipe everybody on Tinder or message just anybody just to see because trying to get as many in as possible like how you were saying mm -hmm. earlier about biology yeah like, so they'll do that and that makes it seem like we have more options when really guys will just fuck anything really? so that's why yeah. okay true let me know Leave, let me know in the comments what's going on with you Whew. let me know guys share with me this is a safe space why can't y'all let girls go 
If a girl cheated on you and you know you guys had a bad, a tough break, why do you still want her? Tell me the truth. Be honest with FedEx. Tell me what is really going on. Why do you still want this girl to be a part of your life? Are you lonely or don't you have options? I think the real problem is you don't have options. You have not I'm met other that. girls that you like. Right? And the problem yeah, is... Yeah, he's a loser. Just... He doesn't have options. He's right. <laughs> That's not necessarily... Because the average dude doesn't have, like, hella options. What do you mean? Like, I'm saying, but... And the average female doesn't either. Not options, yes. not viable no, 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 no. options. Yes, they do. I mean, it's... What do you mean? You can fuck any... Anyone could fuck anything. The average dude could fuck anyone. The average girl could fuck anyone. That doesn't mean that it's... All these niggas for these girls to fuck with. Like, what if, if that was the case? There would be nobody would be single. Like, bitches okay, are question. pressed to be in a relationship. Question: You single, whatever. A guy walks up to you who's who's average, so to speak, or even not, let's say more than average. You you actually find him quite attractive. He walks up to you and says, "Hey, I just want to fuck you. Are you fucking?" Fuck no. No, that's random. So no. So so it takes effort or it takes finesse or it takes right but if a girl walks up to you and says hey, hey you want to fuck you're gonna yes. be like all right that, like majority of guys i think would say yes go to the hotel <laughs> like, that's my that's how you catch some shit don't do that it's gross it's disgusting consistently <laughs> dating if you're not consistently improving yourself you're not going to meet new and better girls so you're going to always yeah. fall into that trap of going back to your ex and it's going to be the same cycle over and over this is why guys can't let go of their ex-girlfriends. This is why guys try to pretend to be friends. This is why guys try to use the back door, the friendship route, to try to, you know, be with a girl. It does not work, right? It doesn't work. It, it, it doesn't work. Stop trying to do it. Bro, be honest with yourself, bro. Right. Be honest Be honest with her. You know, as much as she doesn't want to hear, you got to be like, hey, we can't be friends. We've already had a past. So either, you know, I'm not trying to be romantic with you again, but that's it. Don't don't give her another avenue to be a part of your life after she already messed you over. But bro, bro, I can guarantee you that girl cheated on him first. But he wants to feel good about himself and say he cheated on her. Bro, I promise you, bro, before you had a chance to cheat on her, she's been cheating on you. Guys, women manipulate breakups. They they a woman listen, bro, if she was behaving properly, if she was doing everything you know she was supposed to do, you would have never cheated on her. Right? Because they know what they're doing. Women know what they're doing. If she's submissive, sweet, caring, fixing you dinner, lunch, breakfast every day, you're not going to go nowhere. That's how simple guys are. So if she's not doing that, she's giving you the opportunity to go mess up or go do what you want to do so she can do what she really want to do. When guys break up with girls, they don't really break up with girls. The girl manipulated that. The girl it encouraged that by bad behavior. Women know how to behave properly. Mm, is that true for you guys? That when you feel like you want to break up, you kind of like manipulate the guy in through bad behavior to break no, up with I you. Think, and well, I'm a very passionate person, I would say. So mm. I think I I try to make things work until I give up. And when I give up, I'm not going to manipulate you. I'm not going to play games with you. Like mm -hmm. once I'm fed up, I'm moving on. Like okay. you're deaded. So you can so you are could be confrontational to go up straight to the guy and be like, hey, look, this is not working out. I'm trying. While I'm still trying, yeah, like okay. if I'm trying, I'm gonna tell you what's wrong, and I'm you know until the day I decide I'm fed up, I'm not trying no more. Okay, yeah. moving well, yeah. on. Same. I mean, definitely me now, yeah. But I have done that before. I have like been stuck in something toxic, like you know the younger me, and then just not knowing how to get out of it, and you just try to like. Cause problems to get out of it or try to just, you just waiting for somebody to fuck up so you have a reason to leave. Like, I've gotcha. been there. Okay. okay. Then women do it a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So stop trying to, don't give her opportunity to be toxic again. That energy is too toxic. And finally, bro, men and women cannot be friends because she's not going to respect you. Guys, at the end of the day, if a woman does not respect you, nothing is going to work. Right? I'm, I'm going to go back to this example. Bro, she knows you have feelings for her. She knows you guys dated before. She can never respect you if you take her back as just friends. She can never respect you if you don't set boundaries. She can never respect you if you don't be a guy that shows that you respect yourself more than anything else. Right? A lot of guys are so caught up into companionship. You would rather just be with a girl. You would rather just have a girl on your side than to, than to set boundaries because you're afraid of losing them. Right now, you 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 can't you can't establish that respect. 
She must respect you. Guys, I told you guys, when the girl messes, messes me over, you on a lifetime punishment. You get, you are going to jail for life. I want you to suffer. You mess me over. You, 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 hey, you, you don't give me an opportunity or you, you do some, you do some fugazi stuff for me. Okay. You're going to be set in lifetime jail. I want you to watch my. But before he goes into more in that, what happens when you do have a breakup? Do you, are you more like block on everything? Are you more like. Yeah, he sounds very bitter. Same. Agreed. I get the perspective. I get what he's saying. A lot of people are like that, but I'm not like that. Like I am. I, at every moment, regardless of how things end, whether you did me dirty or whatever, like I have nothing but love and positivity to give you. Like I'm not gonna block you. Like it's not gonna be no beef. I'm not gonna hate you or talk shit about you. Mm -hmm. No, like it oh, is no, what me. it is. Me, personally. I'm gonna protect my peace. Like I'm gonna block you, and that does not mean <laughs> okay. come up with fake numbers. No, because I will change my number. Like <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> if I okay. said we're done, like. Mm -hmm. it's, no, like, he said I want her to suffer. Like that's another yeah, level. No, no, like no, no, I don't no. want nobody. To no, suffer. I don't. I don't think he really means suffer. I think he means suffer as in the consequences and the choices that you well, make. Well, yeah, I feel like losing me in your life—that's punishment already. Like that's you're gonna have to deal with that forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yep. Okay. That's enough. My life. I want you to watch the glow up from afar. I want you to suffer and realize that man, I messed up. She can't realize that she messed up if you give her another chance. And she will always respect you. Even though you don't give her a chance to be a part of your life again, she will always respect you. And I would much rather that. I would much rather a girl respect me than, 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 than for her to disrespect me. I would much rather a girl for I would much rather a girl respect me than not be me not to be with her at all. If me being with her means I'm not gonna have respect, she's not gonna be submissive, she's not gonna be cooperative, I would much rather not even be with her just to get the respect. Because once you get back with this chick, bro. Once you let her come back in your life as just friends, she knows that you're weak. She knows that you don't have options. No true high value guy with options is gonna let that kind of stuff go on, cheating go on, and then let the girl just walk back into his life. I don't care if it's, if it's been 10 years. It's <laughs> over, it's over. You said what? I said took cause like, he harbors like, what's his sign? He's gotta be like a Scorpio or something. <laughs> This man harbors onto shit forever, like ten years. At that point, like let it go, bro. <laughs> like yeah, it's yeah not ten that years is kind of obsessive, but yeah, mm -hmm. I get I get what you're saying. Like you, he want to you to really suffer, see the glow up, right? Like focus That's on so yourself. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> Over. I'm go. You are going to sit in jail, baby, for years, for years and forever. You don't get a second chance in me, right? Because I'm gonna have that you got. There are millions and billions of girls who are waiting to have the opportunity with me. That's my mentality. That's what I want you guys to have. So I'm not giving an ex a second chance. So you chance, got options, right? Then. Say it again. You got options. Again, um, you comparing millions and billions, apparently. I can't Period. Wait. I can't wait. Right. Because I know she's <laughs> he not going to me. <laughs> this man loves to contradict himself. It's like it's the double standard only pops up when it's necessary. I walk back into your life after she cheated on you. She's not gonna respect you, bro. She gonna do it again. She gonna mess over you again. She's gonna cheat again, right? And hey, you let me come back. So guys, people only learn from consequences, right? Mm -hmm. Being nice, being forgiven, that's not how it works. When you're forgiven with women, they do it again. Oh, oh, she's gonna act like she, she, she's sorry. She's gonna act like she's changed, but she never really changed. Oh, okay, you gave me a second chance to come back in your life after I messed you over. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Might not be this, that day, might not be that month, might not be in a few months, but I guarantee you, she's going to go back to what she was doing before that caused you guys to break up. And this is why men and women cannot be friends, right? Somebody wants the other person more, it is too toxic and she's not gonna respect you. Okay, so we got the overall gist of the video. What are y'all thoughts or final thoughts? Um, He's saying two different things, he's saying, we can't be friends because she'll cross that line. Okay, yeah, in that case, you cross the line, then you're no longer friends. If you both don't cross that line, it's possible. It just takes two good people. If she cheated on you once, she might not even be a good person to begin with, so. Yeah, I, well, me personally, I wouldn't even talk to her again. Even even just right. as yeah, friends. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I He's wouldn't know why you about somebody to. that disrespected him. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't at know that why point, you want to be Yeah, I don't keep friends around me that disrespect me, so why would I keep mm -hmm. you around me and I had an even more yeah. deeper personal connection with you? Yeah. Okay. And you did me dirty. It's not impossible though. If that's so, then what about you? Not impossible. Um, 
if my ex cheated on me and like I and we broke up, like I think that's punishment enough. Like maybe in the future after I let it go, like I could possibly be friends, but mm -hmm. that's all like we could be, you know. Okay. So so for you for you too, are you willing to work out throughout the relationships of, of toxic things or are you like kinda just dead that? No. Um, it depends how much I like someone, obviously. Okay. It it really depends. Obviously, like I'm not gonna say I'm okay with being cheated on. Mm -hmm. Hell no, like and it ruins like relationships, it ruins trust. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I wanna have a healthy relationship one day, so mm -hmm. one day. Okay. Um, you know, I want to be in a relationship where people don't cheat on each other, but okay, what you know, you? one day. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Yeah, same. I mean, um, it's yeah, it's not impossible, but um, I mean, I'm not really friends with anybody that's cheating on me, so I can't yeah. say. But yeah. I don't hold grudges or anything. Like we're always gonna be cool, and it, for mm -hmm. me, I'm not gonna block nobody. But it is what it is. Okay. And where can they find you guys? Amina Mar on Instagram. Step easy on Instagram. All right. And if you want to follow them, the links will be in the description below. Join the Patreon army. Like the video. Subscribe. It's your boy, Dan J. I'm out. Peace.